this story is so stellar. It's causing stars and scientists to be born again. Zew. You're right, sir. Slow your rotation, stellar fool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Hey, baby, are you ready? Because I'm going to be releasing some science all over you. That's right, we're at the spacetelescope.org talking about how astronomers observe a star reborn in a flash. Wow. Stars are just like the craziest things, and they seem to, apparently, some of them follow the same path as Jesus Christ. They live, they die, they're resurrected, and cooler and more powerful than ever. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Phil Plate. You too, Neil DeGrasse Tyson. But, uh, Bill Nye, I got something special for your pipe. It looks like dog poop, smells like dog poop, but it's really going to be fine tobacco from Dog Poopia Island. <laughs> What the hell? I don't know. Okay, some must be going crazy. An international team of astronomers using Hubble. Oh, you shouldn't use the Hubble. You should be good to the Hubble. The Hubble's good to you. Have been able to study stellar evolution in real time. Over a period of 30 years, dramatic increases in the temperature of the star Sao 244-567 have been observed. Now the star is cooling again. You get hot, then you get cool. Then you get hot, and then you get cool. And then you supernova. And you come back together and do it all again. Better than ever. Ready to break. Having been reborn into an earlier phase of stellar evolution, what? Yeah, I just, it just decided to go back a couple steps. Yeah, like, it was like, dude, I really liked it at, uh, Silver Giant. Wait, is that a classification of star? So I'm gonna go, it's like going back to the third grade. So the star basically got to seventh grade and was like, screw this crap. I'm going back to third grade, right? And that's how it worked? Okay. Man, this science is all over the place. I need to control my release better. This makes it the first reborn star to have been observed during both the heating and cooling stages of rebirth. <sighs> Even though the universe is constantly changing, science never really changes. It's always an arrogant prick. Just kidding. Most processes are too slow to be observed within a human lifespan. But now, an international team of astronomers have observed an exception to this rule. Sao 244567 is one of the rare examples of a star that allows us to witness stellar evolution in real time, explains Nicole Rindle from the University of Leicester in the United Kingdom. She was the lead author of the study. She said, Yo, over 20 years, the star has doubled its temperature, and it was possible to watch the star ionizing its previously ejected envelope, which is now known as the Stingray Nebula. I think what she's saying is, is that it supernovaed off all this material. And then it shot out this burst of ions that froze all that material in a specific shape. It's like a way to make cosmic furniture for the stars. Wow, science is amazing. Sao 244567 is 2,700 light years from Earth and is the central star of the Stingray Nebula. And it has been visibly evolving between observations made over the last 45 years. Between 1971, the year I was born, and 2002, the surface temperature of the star skyrocketed by almost 40,000 degrees Celsius. Wow, I just heard Phil Plate yell climate change. Now new observations made with the Cosmic Origin Spectrograph, or COS, bro, on the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope have revealed that Sao 244567 has started to cool and expand. One way to get, if you're going to be cool, you got to expand your mind. I know, that was stupid. This is unusual, although not unheard of. Because there's that one hipster scientist who's like, oh, I heard of that shit before. And the rapid heating could easily be explained if one assumed that Sao 244567 had an initial mass of three to four times the mass of the sun. However, the data show that Sao 244567 must have had an original mass similar to that of our sun. Such low mass stars usually evolve on a much larger time scale. So the rapid heating has been a mystery for decades. You see, back in 2014, Rindle and her team proposed a theory that resolved the issue of both Sao 244567's rapid increase in temperatures, as well as the low mass star. They suggested that the heating was due to what is known as a helium shell flash event. <laughs> I had one of those that left my underwear brown for weeks. I apologize for that joke. That was crass. Poop. Poop jokes don't belong inside. Oh, man. <laughs> a brief ignition of helium outside the stellar core. A helium shell flash event. This theory has very clear implications for Sao 244567's future. If it has indeed experienced such a flash, then this would force the central star to begin to expand and cool again. 
it would return back to its previous phase of its evolution. This is exactly what the new observations confirmed. As Rindle explains, the release of nuclear energy by the flash forces the already very compact star to expand back to giant dimensions. This sentence is so weird. I think it's broken. The born again scenario. This story is so stellar. It's causing stars and scientists to be born again. It is not the only example of such a star, but it's the first time ever that a star has been observed during both the heating and cooling stages of such a transformation. <laughs> I read that. Yet no current stellar evolutionary models can fully explain SAO 244567 behavior. Yeah, the main star sequences. It's got a lot of holes in it. It's more of like a good tool for explaining it to uh, kindergartners. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and sell that shit past third grade. As Reindel elaborates, we need refined calculations to explain some of the still mysterious details in the behavior of SAO 244567. This could not only help us to better understand the star itself, but could also provide a deeper insight into the evolution of central stars of planetary nebulae. Man, until astronomers develop more refined models for the life cycles of stars, aspects of SAO 244567, the evolution will remain a mystery. All right, and this story is history. Now, that'll be cool. And if you want to, I guess, have a born again inducing healing flash event. But do that with someone you really care about. All right, goodbye. Peace out. God bless everyone.